Hi guys, it's Nancy, and I have another part of the new release from It's My Party, designed by Carissa Wiley for Spellbinders. This is part of the June 2023 release, and I already have in my glimmer off to the side. We're going to play with today Balloon Bouquet, um, Party Balloons Bouquet Glimmer Set, and the Stencil. So in the Glimmer Set, you get three balloons kind of connected. This is what they sort of look like. Um, they're already in the glimmer plate, okay? This is the die that cuts out the outside. There's a die that can cut out the inside of the balloons. Nice just little circle there. There is a glimmer sentiment which says for you and the die to cut that out. Again, I love Spellbinders for including the dies. There is a bow glimmer plate and yes, of course, the die to cut that out. There is the balloon string, and these two little dashes here, by the way, will cut into the balloon so that you can have somewhere to kind of slide that balloon string in there. The die to cut that out. This is the balloon tie, so if you wanted to give your balloon a little tie, you have that you know, the bottom of your balloon. And then this piece, which I couldn't figure out. <laughs> I had to go and look at the photos. This is actually a leaf and a stem, which is a genius idea. Because of the shape of these being circular, you could make this into a fruit. So you have um, a nice little stem and a leaf. So if you wanted to use that as future products, future um, projects, for example, in the fall, right, when we are going to go, like, I don't know, um, apple picking, peach picking, something like that, you can make it a fruit, which is pretty cool. So we already have it in the glimmer machine. I put some Aura Glimmer Foil on there. So we're just waiting for that to warm up. We're going to run it through the Platinum. And then we have the Balloon Bouquet Stencils, which you can use individually. But I love the versatility in the designs here. So there is two little half masks here so that you can cut, um, or sorry, mask off the balloon if you only want to stencil half of it. But look at these designs. This one's kind of a fun confetti design. You have this um, crisscross stripes. This reminds me of, of Christmas candies, peppermints. So think about that. You could do three peppermints in the wintertime. And then you have some highlights for the balloons and different options for balloon strings. So really fun. And then again, some little highlights down here. So fun things to do with the stenciling there. So our glimmer is done. We're going to move these things aside for a moment. Bring in our platinum. run that through and get to stenciling. Now I've already posted a couple other videos using this release so if you have any questions post them down below but make sure you check out my videos that I have posted um, in the last week so you can see the other things that I use. I use the balloon garland, I use the individual glimmer sentiments, stuff like that. Now that felt pretty light going through. I might need to add a shim in there. We'll find out in a second here. Oh no, that probably came out pretty good. Okay. And this is a hundred pound hammer mill premium, uh, premium card stock. And voila, that is perfect. All right, the rest of this is going to be done by stencil. So I'm going to bring my stencil mat in just to hold everything in place. Put a little piece of the Spellbinders tape on there just to hold that on there. And then we're just going to do different colors of our stenciling. So see, you can use this, these pieces to mask so that we don't get ink on the other part of this balloon here. Look at that. And then uh, let's make that top one. We'll do the uh, stripes for the top one. 
And I have my little um, Spellbinder stencil brush, and they actually have ink left on them from my other project I was just doing. So I'm just going to use the ink that's already left on here. These stencil brushes are perfect for getting in there. And they're inexpensive. I think you get three brushes for like $3.99, guys. They're super inexpensive. Okay, so that one's done. It's pretty light, but it's you can see it. Maybe we'll do like a tone on tone. So what colors do I have here? Pretty. All right. at that so pretty simple I mean if you wanted to obviously you can go in and add more color with the balloons you don't have to leave them so plain like I did okay so that's just you know just touching the surface of what we can do here. Then we have the balloon strings, which we can stencil on or we can glimmer on. We have some highlights we can add on there. But I think we'll keep this one pretty simple. We bring in some black. We'll do the balloon strings with some black. We'll get that small blending brush. Just trying to figure out where to put my I think this was used for green ink before because it's looking kind of greeny but that's okay okay that's not bad then we'll bring this one over here, so we'll have a little bit of crisscross. Okay, so we have our three balloons. That was very easy, very simple to do. Do I want to add some of these kind of shadows in there? Do I want to do them in black? Will that ruin everything? Eh, I'm going to go for it.
Yeah, it's actually not too bad. And then that one would be underneath, so we don't need to worry about that one. That looks pretty good. Not hating that. Not hating it at all. Okay, so we have our foil. I think I do want to add a Glimmer Sentiment, though. So we're going to bring in the Giant Party Balloon Sentiment. Actually, no. We're going to bring in... Glimmer, it's my party glimmer sentiment. So, it's party time. Yes, we're going to do that. So, I'm going to glimmer that. Let's turn this back on. And here you can see that balloon. I'm going to actually put a couple of these down so I can glimmer them all at once. And then I can cut them out. So I have It's Party Time for you. The bottom of the balloon. The bow and the um, balloon string. So I'm going to put all of those in the glimmer. I'm actually going to pause the video and not make you guys wait around. I will glimmer, cut those out, and then I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, guys, while you were gone, I decided I wanted to cut these out. So I cut them out and I add a little bit more color on them. I took the Tiny Dots embossing folder and embossed a piece of pink Spellbinders cardstock. And I glimmered the It's My Party and die cut that out from the It's My Party Glimmer set sentiment set. So we have that. We have For You, which comes from the Balloon Bouquet. We have the bow. I cut out, uh, glimmered and cut out three of the strings. And we have one of the, um, the bottom of the uh, balloon ties, which I probably don't need for this project. But I think this is going to come out a little better. Now, I did have the little stenciled black lines there, so I'm just going to glue right over where I had that. There are little cut lines there. I'm not going to really worry about those. So ideally, what you would do is tuck this in, but because I glued this, I guess I could, you know, I could and I will grab my smaller Spellbinders scissors. Sometimes you just got a fussy cut. Okay, that solves that problem. Let's bring in some glue. Let's put all this together. Let's make a party, a party card. Okay, so I have some black cardstock just to mat this on. I cut this pink one down to five and a quarter by four. our card front. And 
And the black is cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter. And now it's just assembling everything. So I'm gonna put the balloons down first. A little bit of an angle here. They definitely look better that I added more ink to them. We're gonna add our balloon strings. Actually, I can bring this one down because I'm going to bring a bow. Oh no, it's sticking! Well, there we go. I'm going to cover that up with the bow. So we'll put the strings down here. Right there so it'll cover up my little ink and I'll cover up that middle one I could probably cut this bow down too but I'm fine with it okay and then we have our sentiment it's party time And I think that looks better than what I started with. We need some gold sequins. Actually, no. We're going to bring in... Which ones do I want? I love these pearlescent ones. Oh, we're going to do the peach opalescent ones because they kind of look like the aura foil so they'll go really well together with that the pink look pretty too but i think that's an overload of pink so we're just going to go with the peach opalescent Right, there we go. So this is using 
the new tiny dots embossing folder that's what's in the background this is a regular embossing folder not a 3d embossing folder and it's using the it's my party glimmer sentiments so you have six of those sentiments and the dies that come together on that that's the um, it's party time and then also using the balloon bouquet glimmer and the balloon bouquet giant or yeah balloon bouquet glimmer and the balloon bouquet stencil as part of the it's my party designed by carissa wiley for spellbinders and then topped it off with some peach opal essence sequins and aura glimmer foil so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me put this together if you have any questions post them down below if you're more interested in glimmer videos I have a playlist for you um, in Spellbinders and also in anything hot foiling. But you want to go check out these new products over at Spellbinders. I will put the links down below for you. Please give this video a thumbs up before you leave and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and keep on foiling. Bye, guys.